Hi, uh, this is a quick video to showcase auto spill, which is a different method to calculate uh, the spillover matrix that you'll have when you use multiple markers in your uh, flow symmetry panel. Uh, traditional method, you basically get the positive and negative fraction, feed that to the software, and use it, it's going to use the MFI of both fractions to um, uh, basically calculate your uh, matrix. The, the issue is that depending on how you draw those gates, you're going to get different uh, competition. Typically, uh, some of them are going to be bad, some are going to be better than others. It, it's required a lot of work. Um, Autospill is pretty awesome. You can get rid of all of that by essentially doing um, first a using the full data set for each of the controls. It's going to do a linear regression using the entire set of dots that you have in your controls. So no more uh, gating is necessary. Um, furthermore, after it's done one round of that linear regression, it's going to continue doing uh, iterations of the linear regression in order to reduce the um, uh, compensation errors uh, that you might have. And so at the end of the day, you have better compensation. Uh, in practice, it, it's much less work to do auto spill as well. So it's, it's pretty great. Uh, so auto spill is available on currently uh, on Flojo, uh, Omic. Um, other platforms such as uh, Flowreader, that uh, Florida that I do, I o. Um, I haven't seen it elsewhere, but hopefully it's going to branch out and be available pretty much everywhere very soon. Uh, we're going to look at it on uh, Flowjo uh, today. We have a bunch of controls loaded up, and so as I go to my composition group and click on the composition tool over here, so we have all my controls automatically loaded and gated uh, using the traditional method. Uh, this is where typically you would go and, and essentially uh, tippy top your uh, gates in order, what happened here, um, in order to get the brightest part of each of your controls um, and, and basically get you better results for your composition matrix. If you're not sure why we do that, there's a link below uh, a blog post uh, written by uh, Laura Johnson uh, on, on why that is. Um, it, especially with here, we have 20 markers. It's kind of tedious to go through all these graphs and, and do that work. And so what Autospill will do is basically, as I click Autospill, all these gates disappears. And now it's going to use uh, these linear regression method to calculate um, the uh, spillover matrix. And so now I can just go ahead and view uh, my matrix. Um, And now it has a composition over here, composition two that I just made. I'm going to delete it because I already did the work. So we have the composition done the traditional way and uh, through auto spill. Uh, if I go through uh, the traditional method and look at the entire two by two uh, graphs over here, um, it looks pretty good. This is an actual sample we're looking at. So it's kind of hard to see uh, what's going on, but you can identify a couple of spots over here, for example, where uh, the composition was not completely uh, great. Um, if I go through auto spill, uh, these two issues uh, that we identify uh, are resolved and I, you can still find some other problems here and there that likely has to do with uh, the problem with the controls that we used. Um, but overall, uh, auto spill is a solution that will provide you better uh, compensation matrix faster uh, with less amount of work. And so totally uh, recommend using it uh, as often as you can. Cheers.